hi friends welcome back to my channel I hope you are as excited as I am for this video this video is <laughs> I won't lie it's a bit the title is a bit of a clickbait situation <laughs> I already know while shooting this video I already know what I'm gonna title it and it's low-key clickbait but it is it is a form of shopping it is me shopping my brother's um bookshelf um my brother very much like myself is an avid um collector of books is an avid reader um and so i am currently visiting him at the moment i'm i'm in between things right now <laughs> So I'm current I'm currently um visiting him at the moment and actually the past two books that I've reviewed no I lie no the book An American Marriage was recommended by my brother I will insert the review in the in the card and the current book that I'm reading now is also I think the review would have come out before this um, it's called the water dancer so I just thought I'm already on a roll why not just carry on and carry on reading the books that he recommends um, yeah in fact I think what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna go through his bookshelf and choose uh, potential books that I might be reading and then I'll let you know what the final selection is at the end of this book based on his recommendations so yeah stick around for that um that was a long intro but let's get into it so as you will be able to tell um i'll show you footage here of my brother's um books and bookshelves he mostly reads books on business and finance he mostly reads non-fiction but he does have some fiction here and there. So, yeah, I'm so far his recommendations have been great. Um, oh, he also had the Alicia Keys book lying around, you know, that what is it called? More More Myself. That was also a gem that I got from his collection. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find a few books that I will add to my TBR and will be forthcoming as book reviews on this channel. So, the very first book is this. It's um, A Promised Land by Barak. Can you see how massive this book is? <laughs> I think my brother read this like in two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I don't know if I have the strength, dear Lord, for such a book. He did say it is a difficult read because it, it is quite political. So to be honest, <laughs> probably not. Probably. And um, yeah, please excuse the nails. You know, they need to be done. But we're going with it because we are recovering perfectionists over here. So we're going with it. Roll with me. Come with me. Anyway, so this, uh, oh, I don't think I'll read this to be honest. It's tempting, but no. So the next book is this one. It looks super interesting. It's by a Zimbabwean author. And in fact, I've been trying to read more work by um, Southern African authors, not South African, but Southern African. Um, so Zimbabwean author. She is a Zimbabwean medical doctor and an author. Uncertainty of Hope won the National Arts Merit Award in Zimbabwe in 2008. The novel, gives an, the novel gives an insight into the challenge faced by a wide cross-section of Zimbabwe where life expectancy has dropped to 37 and where people survive by their wits, their labor, and friendship. I'm actually going to read this. This is going on my TBR. This might actually be my next read after... The dancer, you know, the water dancer. I'm so tempted by this, although <laughs> look at how tiny that font is. Ugh. Me, I don't want back to back. I must be reading challenging books, you know. So the next one is this that looks interesting to me. After tears, I love this cover. Love this cover. Um 
Yeah, so Bafana has flunked his law studies at UCT. Now back at home in Chi Soweto, he has to pluck up the courage to either confess the truth to his proud mother and uncle or persist with his facade as a qualifying attorney, my word, which might not be a bad idea since everyone in Chi is already available, is already calling him Apple. <laughs> a piercingly funny poignant um, novel by an author of highly acclaimed dog eat dog i've never read i've never read anything by nick um Nishongo, so don't come for me don't do it i know if you're south african you're probably gonna want to come for me don't do it i'm here to read any book by him so i think maybe this is a good start Something else that looks super interesting is this All is Fish by Kirsten Miller. Honestly, I am drawn. <laughs> Silly, never, charge, never, never judge a book by its cover, but I'm very drawn to this. So, so it says at the center of this novel is Simon, a successful Johannesburg businessman whose carefully constructed life is rapidly falling apart. Trying to make sense of it all, he returns to his childhood home in beautiful but uncosmopolitan Zululand. It is here that the, remi the reminders of his own boyhood lead him on a journey of rediscovery of both the ordinary and the extraordinary. So this is about a black man's experience written by a white woman. Is that what I'm getting? <laughs> Kristen Miller sounds white to me. I'll need to look her up. Me, I don't like those kind of things. <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe that's too hardcore, but I don't like black experiences written by white people. I do not. <laughs> so we'll see if I read that one. Say what you will, those are just my principles. I don't mind reading white stories written by white people, but <laughs> I struggle with white people writing black experiences. Anyway, as we were. Um, so I found this book <laughs> on my brother's bookshelf. This is when the shoe fits. Stories of a Taoist, Taoist mystic um, by Osho. Here we are. So actually, this is my book. I don't know how it got here, but it's definitely my book. And I know it's my book because it's a spiritual book. <laughs> and my brother does not own a lot of those. <laughs> Any spiritual book he has, he either got it from me or I bought it for him. So, And I can tell it's my book because of how I fold it, you know, stuff like this. I do that a lot with spiritual books. Um, just because then it's easy for me to go back to the to the to the parts where I felt very moved. So taking my book back. <laughs> I keep looking there. I should be looking there. This is the next book. It is Summertime by J. M. Kotsia. He is winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature. I think he won this in 2003, if I'm not mistaken. I will correct myself if I am. Um yeah, he's just like one of those really acclaimed authors that you hear about all the time um, as a, you know, as a South African. So, yeah, I thought I haven't read any of his work. No better time than the present to do so. So, uh, quick reading of this book. It seems like this is a fictionalized memoir. And it's part three in a, obviously a trilogy. There is boyhood and there's boyhood and there's youth. And this is summertime. I wonder, does it make a difference if I don't read these books in order? I wonder. We'll see. I'll look it up. But looks interesting. And here is the last book for this video. It is this one called Silver Sparrow by Tayari Jones. And obviously Tayari Jones is the author. 
the writer of the book I just recently um, reviewed called An American Marriage that was really, really good. And I've heard amazing things about this particular one, Silver Sparrow. Um, so I think I will really put this on my TBR list. So this is a story of a man's deception, a family's complicity, and the two teenage girls caught in the middle. James Witherspoon has two families, one public, the other a closely guarded secret, but when his daughters meet and form a friendship, only one of them knows the truth. There is a relationship destined to explode. <laughs> and based on um, an American ma marriage, I know there's going to be a few, a few scandalous moments in this. The whole thing sounds scandalous, but yeah, knowing her and her type of writing, ooh, this sounds juicy. <laughs> what was that? Nobody knows. Okay, friends, so that was my shopping <laughs> trip. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you... Actually, let's do this. Comment down below um what your top three books are and i want to see if there's like a consensus in terms of what i should read next and yeah if you guys um if there's a clear consensus then i will definitely read those books first um but also comment down below if you've read any of those books and if maybe there's one on the list you're like hell no do not read that <laughs> let me know save me some trouble that will be helpful um yeah but other than that i think i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you for watching you know the dealio at this point um subscribe if you're new please subscribe like i said i'm trying to get to a thousand in a couple of months and i think we are just over 350 at the moment if i'm not mistaken so please help me grow my channel i really appreciate it like this video please share if you are in the mood to share also um that's it <laughs> take care bye